Hi everyone, I hope you're doing great and you had an amazing day. So, in our today's video, I'll be talking um, more about or I'll be comparing shipping by sea and shipping by air. So, at this juncture, I believe you have already made up your mind like it's time to ship. But then the question comes here How am I going to ship my goods? Am I going to ship my goods through air? Am I going to ship my goods through sea? So, before we go further, what is shipping by sea? Shipping by sea means that you are going to use a ship to ship your goods to your country or to your de destination. Again, what is shipping by air? Shipping by air means that you are going to use a freight to ship the goods into your country, which is your destination. At this juncture, I'm going to have a look at both advantages and disadvantages of the two methods. So first, let's go to the air. Ship, shipping by air means what? Its advantage is this. Shipping by air, it's super fast. And when I mean fast, it's fast. Um, it could take, let me take an example of Kenya. It could take a, a period of 7 to 14 days. And in some situation, it might, take, it might even take less days. So it will depend with the kind of, you know, the shipping agent you're using. And, you know, maybe the number of freights they have on a weekly basis and when your goods arrive at their warehouse. Got that right? Again, what is the disadvantage of using by air? Um, one is it can be it can be expensive. Why, why have I used can? Because sometimes shipping by air, as much as you are charged more, depending on the kind of product you have shipped it might not be expensive for you but someone else and some commodities it might be expensive let's go to see for c c takes time c takes time so it is time consuming this is one of the of the disadvantage it is time consuming and it needs a lot of you know patience and the like it's a, what is the advantage of shipping by sea it's cheap the charges are, are cheap and for the C, we say before that they charge per CBM. And for the air, they charge per kg. So depending on the weight of your product uh, through air, it determines um, how much you're going to pay for your product. So that you understand the difference between shipping by air and shipping by sea. What comes next? How do I know should I ship by air and whether should I sh ship by sea? There are some factors that you need to put in, into place. There are factors that you need to consider for you to decide, should I ship by air or should I ship by sea? So what are some of these factors? Number one is urgency. If you have a product that you need it to arrive very fast, then air is the best option for you because it's going to arrive within the next few days. But again, if you don't have the urgency, then you can go for the sea. The other thing, is um the weight the weight of the product if you, we have said by air they charge per kg and probably it could be maybe they are charging per kg 11 dollars or 12 dollars so if you find you have you know the product that you want to import is too much heavy then for me i think it's not advisable for you to use air probably you should go for c and on that side of the weight, it, you know, the size of the, pro, the product that you are importing again, I think it's also a factor to consider here. If you are going to import you know, those large products, then I think going for C, it's a better option for you. The other item is regularity and budget. What, what do I mean by regularity? Regularity could be um, in two different ways. Regularity in terms of, let's say, if it's air how often do they do they ship goods how often is it on a weekly basis is it on a monthly basis if you go by sea how often do they have you know a ship arriving at the port again regularity can come uh, in a different perspective assuming i'm a business a business lady and at this juncture um i want my goods to arrive often and why do I need my goods to arrive often? Probably I don't have the capacity, you know, to import a whole container. And maybe, you know, the flow of goods good at my business is very fast. But again, I don't have the capacity to import to import maybe a whole container. So this one I will need to consider. Maybe air can work for me because, you know, I can bring more goods on a weekly basis. 
that to make sure I meet the needs of my clients. The other item is the nature of commodity. Some commodities, they are good if they are imported by air. Some commodities, they are good if imported by sea. For this one, I cannot answer very well for you guys. So it's up to you. Go talk to your, your shipping agent and then they, they're going to advise you accordingly whether to import by air or whether to import by sea, depending on the nature of commodity. Some commodities cannot be shipped uh, by air and others um, cannot be shipped by air, but they can be shipped by sea. So... Do research on the same so guys i hope you have got a, a clear understanding the difference between air that is shipping by air and ship shipping by sea so we have seen uh, by air it can be expensive sea can be cheap sea can be slow but air can be fast so make up the decision and decide what how or what method do you want to use when shipping your commodities and guys, before we go any further, let me teach you some mandolin or what we call Chinese. Guys, I know soon you are going to ship your goods. I know even soon you're going to travel to China or wherever you want to get your goods. Let me teach you some Chinese. Did you know how to say hello in Chinese? If you didn't, here we go. How do we say hello in Chinese? We say ni hao. Ni hao. Ni hao. Ni means you. How means good. So we say ni how. This literally means hello. So guys, can you say hello to me? Ni how. Very good. And there you go. So guys, that's all for today. See you next time. And guys, if you have not subscribed to my channel, make sure you do. Give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. Ask questions. I'm always here for you. So in bye.